Well, hello Taurus, welcome back to the Alice Illuminator. We will be checking in with what you can expect coming in. Let's see. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, this week I won't be having any extended readings as I will be focusing on the personal reading. So if you are interested in one, you might as well get one this week so uh, you can get it as soon as possible. And later on this week, I will be doing a um, super chat for you all, since I've been promising that for ages now. Let's see. Nice. You have the Six of Pentacles with the King of Wands coming through. Look at that. This is a beautiful energy of like, um, I feel like someone is coming towards you that truly wants to help you, that really wants to guide you or... Um, that is just there for you, right? Like King of Wands is an energy of someone that is completely focused on giving to you with no benefits or whatsoever. And this is not someone that has like a bad intention, you know? Sometimes people do things in order to get something back in return. But the King of Wands to the Six of Pentacles is like motivated to give. And I feel like this is someone that truly sees a long-term commitment with you ten of pentacles they have like the long-term vision with you they want to build a foundation they want to build a home a family um you know make sure that both your careers are going well both your incomes are well like this is someone that is so grown in their own energy that they have a lot of energy to also give to other people that's what the king of wands for the same reasons, this could also be you doing that, but I feel like this is someone in your surrounding. It's a masculine energy. It does not have to be a lover. It could also be a friend or uh, a brother or an uncle, someone that is like willing to help you in regards to any financial um, blockages or any type of resources. Uh, you might be, you might be also trying to achieve like um like a home you know like you might be wanting to buy a home with this ten of pentacles and you might just meet someone that could help you and guide you and advise you in that and someone that does that not for the money but really because they are interested in helping you as well so i do see really good things coming towards you here with the six of pentacles look at that this is victory Right, so if you've been trying to get something in that, um, when it comes to your stability, when it comes to your new house or something that is going to be there for the long, uh, long term, Ace of Swords is saying that you're going to be receiving a final outcome and like a, a go, like the green card or some type of victory when it comes to all that you've been putting energy in and the ace of sources a clear communication a clear breakthrough a mental breakthrough and also something that you can be celebrating okay with the ace of swords it also indicates a new beginning in life a new chapter and also like a clean slate that is coming in oh the lovers huh i mean like all the things are falling into this in, in its place here uh, for you Taurus because the lover's card is also indicating that you and someone else in your life are becoming very strong like you have very deep feelings for someone um, I feel like both of you understand one another mentally spiritually and energetically there is a very strong pull within the heart space uh, you have a lot of love for this individual uh, some of you this is not for all but for some of you you might be um, declaring your love to someone or you might be considering to open up the conversation about your feelings if you are not that close with that individual but looking at the cards right here it feels like this king of wands is someone that you would like to spend your life with and someone that is giving you Look at that, the Ace of Wands. Wow, Taurus, this is like, this is really a good reading. It, it really indicates all breakthroughs and new beginnings and having like a very inspired conversation and also inspiring towards the future, like things that you want to take care of together, um, projects that you want to take care of, creative things like, also very passionate right like having passionate conversations having like this this mental breakthroughs together right like wow um synchronicities it's like a sweet symphony is what i'm hearing in my head like the song sweet symphony 
that, that's, that's the song that I'm getting through. But maybe you know this person for a very long time, ever since that song came out, like the Sweet Symphony song. Just please let me know how that song resonates for you. I love that song usually, uh, personally, but I don't know why it's coming up in your reading. And we have the judgment at the bottom of the deck. So this could be like a past life lover or someone that you had like a long history with and they're suddenly coming back and it's like love at first sight again or you know like I mean like obviously it can be love at first sight but it's more like if you haven't seen each other for 10 years and you're seeing each other again and you fall in love again it's like it's the same thing that happened 10 years ago so it's like woof that that heart chakra just opens up and you're like wow this is the one this is this is the one for me Yeah, I mean, the lover's card in the heart of your reading, I mean, like, that is a lot of love. Let's see, the tower with, a, I mean, like, this is you unexpectedly falling in love. Look at that tower and the ace of cups. It's like unexpectedly a heart chakra opening. Again, the tower is just an, okay, I'm sorry, but you have the ace of pentacles, four aces, for God's sake. Like, seriously, you got all four aces here. And then you have the strength card at the bottom. Listen, that tower is saying that everything is falling in its place with these four aces, like money-wise, uh, you know, passion-wise, communication-wise, breakthroughs, love, everything is falling in its place. So whatever you've been focusing on, it's about to fall all in its place and it's going to happen so suddenly that you're going to be reflecting back and you're like, what? I can't believe that I've worked on this for such a long time and now it's all falling in its place and it has, it has all like the right timing to it. There is a, there, there is some type of a divine timing here that is also at play. But I feel like if you are in this King of Wands energy, uh, You've been very motivated. You've been very dedicated. You've been, you know, truly an achiever. And also like very helping, like helpful, generous. Because the King of Wands and the Six of Pentacles together is like a very noble, helping energy. So if it's not someone else, this has been you. And your hard work and effort in helping other people has also been very rewarding. And the rewards are going to come in very unexpectedly for you, my friend. Really unexpectedly. You got the third eye chakra together with the uh, emotional uh, withdrawal and the base chakra. So let's see. I do feel like also for you and all the other signs also had like something like that coming through. And I feel like for this month, there is definitely a need for some type of an emotional withdrawal to cleanse your energy, to take some spiritual baths, to really focus on clearing out your chakras, especially because you're having like this brand new start. You have like this clean slate and you don't want to bring old past energies or feelings into this new new chapter of your life this is like a new decade that's opening up for you so in order to do that you may need to ground yourself because a lot of things are coming at suddenly right the tower is saying like suddenly you have like everything that comes in you got like love coming in you have like this um breakthroughs you have like your paperwork you have your uh, financial opportunities everything that comes in and you need to be spiritually aligned and grounded right the base chakra is all about grounding yourself feeling sheltered feeling secure safe and you need that in order to communicate to roughly when it comes to oh no not communicate i'm sorry this is the third eye chakra so because you have all these things coming at you at once you do need to be in tune with your uh, with your intuition and i feel like maybe for some of you you have a little bit of a blocked chakra uh, within your third eye which could indicate that you have a lot of headaches migraines um, just very uh, spiritually phatic and i feel like needing to cleanse yourself doing like a bath cleansing with salt and with um, herbs or uh, essential oils could definitely recharge your energy and you know have like this blue candle next to it that can or purple in this case as well because 
third eye could also be purple, um, the crown and the uh, third eye. I would suggest rather purple when it comes to your, like, your third eye and op awakening your spiritual gifts and your um, ability to read and to sense things. So you would definitely benefit from that, doing like some type of a proper cleansing and to open up your psychic power abilities here. Let's see what else. Some of you are being called to read, um, to read when it comes to any type of subjects that you are interested in, in order to prepare yourself. You could be finding a new job and you need some type of preparation for that, needing to read in, close yourself off and really dive into the subject so you have more knowledge. It's time to release negativity. Yeah, that's the emotional withdrawal. It's really time for you to banish and cleanse all the negative energies. I've been wanting to do this banishing myself, uh, also for myself, but also for um, online. But for some reason, I just can't get to it because I, I also need like this clear space and having like less on my schedule. And you all know that I'm quite busy with the renovation, but this is for such a long time on my planning. And I feel like spirit is really pushing through it like to do something extra spiritually to release this negative energy so it doesn't block your future progress surrender you have the surrender card and fear some of you are yeah, with this hunger at the bottom of the deck as well, some of you are allowing your fears to get the better of you and you're being allowed to, like, your spirit is asking you to surrender to the process and to release this negative energy of fear so it doesn't block you because fear is something that we need to conquer, right? Like, don't uh, twist your, your decision because you're fearful of the outcome. Like, it's better for you to take that risk because no risk is, like, no game is no risk. And you're going to be so much more sorry if you don't take the risk than if you do take the risk and you're getting more experience, okay? So you're going to be so much more experienced. There is no need for you to fear or to keep yourself blocked or holding yourself back in any type of sense. Rather, release the fear and just go for the project because what is coming in for you is absolutely amazing. Like a four aces, it's like a full house. Look at that divine law, things going in your favor. And that means that spirit has seen your effort and karma is being given to anyone that has been judging you or treating you badly or not giving you what you deserve. And yes, maybe that person A has not been giving you what you deserve, but up there they've seen your effort and someone else will give you more than you deserve just to rebalance that act right so again things are going in your favor synchronicities are happening in your life and you are balancing a lot of things in your life here and look at that the balance card at the bottom talking about spiritual alignment so this is this is just uh saying that if you feel fear coming up all you have to do is spiritually align yourself and you will sense that your heart is leading you towards the right direction Right, let's just pull you um, a mermaid deck before we close off. Oh, the sacrifice card. That is the surrender and fear and the negativity. There are those worth making and there are those that will destroy you. Now, you all know that I do not like the sacrifice card. It means that we are sacrificing too much of ourselves, too much of our time or effort on things, people and situations that are not giving us anything in return. It's, it's where we give too much of ourselves and we, we lose our pride and ego along the way. So it's better for you to surrender to the process, release this fear and stop chasing whatever it is that you've been chasing uh, and allow spirit to kind of like bring it to you. Again, let me just clarify one more time that sacrifice card. What is this sacrifice card for Taurus? Queen of Wands, look at that beautiful energy that you've been sacrificing. Your own motivation in regards to, no, not in regards to, but um, someone has been leaking on your energy and taking away your passion. 
and it could be with like negativity or someone that just does not believe in your plans or your goals or is just trying to slow you down here. Someone is trying to sacrifice your independence or you've been sacrificing your own independence. Yeah, seven of cups. Someone has been confusing you and you should not allow that to happen. You should take back the power and control here. Look at that, the five of pentacles. For some of you, someone may have been, you know, cut you out here and you may have felt quite, you know, five of pentacles and the queen of wands together is more like, feeling insecure. Yeah, it's time for you to make a judgment on it and take back control and power here with the emperor and the judgment. Take back control and power. Don't don't allow yourself to give more than your fair share here. That's what I have for you, my friends. Um, let's, um, let's call it a day. I'll be back soon. And if you need a reading or any of my uh, per like items, uh, oils, banishing oil, cleansing oil, whatever it is, you can find the links in the description box below. And I'll catch you soon. Take care.